Hey you guys, so I am back today. This is going to be a short but sweet video on a haul that I recently um, purchased some products through Sally Beauty. Now I've been in Texas now for a good six months. I've been collecting things. One thing I will have to say is that because of the demographics here is a little bit different than it was in Phoenix, my Walmart seriously has a huge display of products I've yet to go to a local Sally's Beauty but when I'm tell you tell you that Farney doesn't have uh, the population is not that big so the fact that they have that many products I'm excited to see what look this is girl had it an addict girl this is true signs of a recovering addict I'm very curious to see what someplace like I don't know like um mesquite what their stores will look like with products so anyway let's just jump right into it this is not a lot of products i have less than 10 products that i purchased from sally's beauty it cost me about 65 dollars okay i'm gonna try to keep everything within the same um brand so first off we have tgin's buttercream i'm not going to take off anything because everything's you know pretty much sealed up they did a good job of that but something leaked we're gonna get into that TGIN's Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. I really do like this product. Um, TGIN was one of the, it's very sentimental, you guys, for me. Um, not only because I knew the owner, Christia, very well, but this was the first brand that I was an ambassador for and I was affiliated with. And she, for the first year, the fact that she was sending me the products for free which I didn't even ask for. She would just say, hey, I'm gonna reach out to them and I'm gonna send you some stuff for free. So, rest in peace, Christia. I still support them, because I do love their products. TGIN Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. And her sulfate-free shampoo. Ooh, something really did. <laughs> like The moisture-rich sulfate-free shampoo is a staple of mine. I use this in conjunction with another um, shampoo on a weekly basis, okay? Next up, we have the one that's been leaking. We have the Queen Helen Cholesterol. Let me see if I can get this tape. Ciao. It's hot here in Texas, too, you guys, so... This could have been worse, so I'm okay with this. So we have the Queen Helen Cholesterol. This is pretty big. I believe it's like 15 ounces. And typically, I like to mix my cholesterol with a oil and a honey, depending on. But I absolutely love applying cholesterol. This is sometimes my only deep conditioner that I use on my hair. And I deep condition it my hair. Now I'm doing it almost every wash day I really am most of that is because I have a lot of reviews that I'm trying to get through okay next up we have Talia Wajid curly cream again I'm going to try to get this sticker off because I want you to at least be able to read the label on front Talia Wajid is a very slept on brand I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say it they have some great products and this is one of my favorites it is their curly curl cream okay and i do have everything that i'm showing you i have a review on i will be putting some links in the cards and below in the description box so please check that out talia wajid curly cream now a lot of these products especially the ones i'm going to show you up next i got on sale sally's was having a great sale which is why everything cost me only 65 dollars and that includes i think that was free shipping next up we have products from the african pride line we have let me just go ahead and get this out. We have their African Prize Moisture Miracle Aloe and Coconut Milk Detangle and Shampoo Pre-Shampoo. I know this product has gotten mixed reviews, but I have no problems with this product. Honestly, it was my, it has been my go-to detangler. And I, I love it. I really do. So we have that. Next up, we have the Heat Activated Mask. This stuff is bay. I missed you. I really did. <laughs> this is the Moisture Miracle Moroccan Clay and Shea Butter Detox and Soften. Again, I also have a review on this product. And last but not least, as far as hair products go, we have the... This is interesting. I don't think I've tried this product. Have I? We have their coconut oil and baboil baobab Bayo, Bayo sorry we have the coconut oil and baobab oil hydrate and strengthen leave-in cream great great this is pretty big what is this 20 ounces what is this 
no girl 15 ounces okay a fairly large size container too so yes you guys i know this is just really really quick um other things i got in here also was girl i've been needing some razors for my eyes and so i have that so product reviews coming up i have that ors deep conditioner i already filmed it it's coming up i have the <clears throat> excuse me i have the eden body works marshmallow um i'm very behind on this flexi rod i want to kind of wait till the weather gets cooler here in, in texas to do that flexi rod and i'm basically going to be look i've been promising that flexi rod set for a while Busby already told me what to do <laughs> to make it like hers because i i contacted her on how she basically was able to do that review and so i was going to use one of her videos to recreate her flexi rod style so anyway y'all expect those videos to be coming up that is it everyone thank you so much for watching take care bye